did it. I feel almost sorry for them. But it had to be done. No, it didn't. We could have tried harder to save them. We failed. But at least... At least this is over now. Thank you. The Templars will forever be in your debt. We will have to start over, but there will always be mages. And the Circle will always be needed. Follow me, then. You said you have proof. Where is it? I will not risk leaving the doors open. Accept my word as proof, sir. All the mages are dead. We no longer have to fear their dark powers. We will form the Circle anew upon the remains of the old. And we will not make the same mistakes twice. Wynne, I am sure you were instrumental in bringing peace to the Tower. And you have always been a respected member of the Circle. The Circle will be in need of a first enchanter. There is none other more suited to this position than you. It is yours, if you will accept it. Ah, oh, Gregor. You only picked me because all the rest of the senior mages are either dead or otherwise incapacitated. But I cannot accept this offer. I wish to teach and to learn, and I will not spend the rest of my life tiptoeing around the Chantry. I would, in fact, prefer to remain in the company of the Grey Warden, if she will have me. I was at Ostagar, and we failed. This will not happen a second time. The Dark Spawn must be taken down, and I wish to be there when it happens. Are you sure you will not reconsider? The Circle needs you. There is hardly a Circle left to speak of. I will return to the Circle when Ferelden is safe. If I can. I suppose nothing I say will change your mind. Very well. Join the Grey Warden if it pleases you. As for you, I am grateful for what you have done. And I did give you my word that we would aid you in your battle against the Darkspawn. I intend to honor my promise to you. Once we have secured the tower, my men and I will make our way to battle. After all, we still have not heard from Denerim, and the Darkspawn threaten all of Ferelden. It falls to me to decide what we must do. The Templars, out of duty and gratitude, will stand with the Grey Wardens. You must excuse me. There are loose ends to be tied up, and the Chantry must be informed that the situation here is under control. We will meet again soon. Till then, may the Maker watch over you. Fellow traveler of the Fair Lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome of strange origin. The Deus V. Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. Those accusations are baseless, groundless, heinous, unsupportable, insubstantial, and dis. Regardable? No, oh, forget it. Get them! I That's see like enemies ahead. Oh. Got it.
I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you play the nursemaid to, not Orzammar's rejects. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, since Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. The Regent has been generous to those who prove loyal. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. I was not talking to you. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. But he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. And conspires with a blood mage to poison me. It is a bitter dose to taste. 
The Chantry speaks truly about the corruption of power. If a man like Loghain could go and do this, I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. I am here for Loghain's daughter, not for Loghain. Their interests are not so similar as they once were. The Queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, you know, and trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denrun is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. They now know she is a threat to her father's power. I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I fear if this is a trap, we are already caught in it. They can kill Anora whether or not we act and blame her death on us. Few would believe our word over Loghain's. We can only defend ourselves with the Queen in hand. I have some uniforms. Al Hau hires so many new guards every day, a few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my Queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm glad you decided to help. With Anora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. Don't trust either of them. I don't know Anora well, 
but I know enough to be sure she has her own ambitions in this. But I think, for now, we can be confident that ours overlap. Good luck. Yes. Yes. I sure did. Why not? Pardon? Oh, I'd give you a roll. Why not? A uh, roll? I any time. Preferably in the dark. I suppose I should be flattered. I'm... Those who bring ham. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. <laughs> don't bother. I know very well he travels with you. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. That's true. You would need to be dead. <laughs> now there is the Zevran I remember. I am no fool, old friend. You know me too well. I'm glad it was you who came, Talisan. This makes things... easier. As for you, Grey Warden, let us see if this second time is the charm, huh?
The Seven's influence is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. Yes, and wherever he goes, a great many guards go with him. Do you not see the angry workmen there? I think it will be some time before even Rand and Hau can use this front door, no? You should leave your walking statue thing behind. It will never escape notice. Yes. Certainly no way for me to blend in with all the other statues. I will be right behind you. Indeed. So, the Carpenter's Crafter all has had enough of Hal's conveniently busy schedule. This way. He will not be put off again. Nor will the stonemason. This way. It's been a month since we've seen so much as a coin of Hal's. Creeping around down there. Go check it out. Something is coming. Ah! Now's better than later. Distracts the guards, but you must move quickly. More guards patrol every hour. If they find these two missing, they will know how you say something is amiss. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. We can reach them again quickly. We're under attack! Alright, alright! <laughs> Well, you must come. I saw something by the fountain. I think it was a dark spawn. Dark spawn. They will drag us all underground to be eaten! Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please, get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You are certain you will not wear the disguise? The servants here, they have no love for how, but they will be frightened by strangers bursting in. They are little threat to you, no? But they will call for the guards when they see you, and soon the whole house will know you are here. You will have to be quick. Andras, they guide us. Thieves! Brigands in the house! Now's better than later. Oh, wait, who's that? You- oh. 